Giving a seminar or conference presentation is a lot like a job interview. The one thing that people often make the mistake of in a job interview is to tell the interviewers everything that they've done and what's missing is the so what factor, the why is this significant and of course that's the thing that the job interviewer wants to hear. It's the same at a conference or at a seminar. Your audience wants to know the so what, why they should be interested in it, why is this important, how is it relevant. When I first started giving presentations I felt that I had to convey all of the information I had, all of the research that I'd done. The temptation is to try and over-impress your audience with how difficult your idea is, how complicated your idea is, and the level of terminology. It's very tempting to go into using a lot of jargon. I would really recommend starting in a different place. When I focus on communicating to my audience, rather than trying to just tell them everything I know, then I, I can do that a lot more efficiently. So a good question to ask is, what do they need to know? What will they be most interested in knowing? Imagine that you only have three minutes to communicate your research, um, often to a broader audience, so think beyond just a very specialised audience. It will help you to get rid of the jargon and the very dry bits of your research. You want to communicate it in a way that will excite people. What you want to tell them about is what you're doing with it, what you're aiming for, what your big idea is, what excites you about it, why this is important, that so what statement. Experiment with explaining your ideas to a colleague or a friend, preferably someone who knows a little bit about your discipline, but someone who doesn't know everything about what you do because you want to explain to them in a way that they will understand. When you can explain it in a way that they really get, that they understand, that they're interested in, that they want, they ask questions about your research, then you, you know that you've nailed it. If you can do that for them, and they may or may not be friends or colleagues, you, they will give you an honest answer. You will get an honest impression, even from whether their eyes glaze over, whether they look interested, whether they ask questions, whether they ask appropriate questions. If they're looking confused, it's possible that you may need to provide more detail. If they're looking bored, you're possibly using too much jargon uh, and very dry ideas that you haven't explained fully. If you've got their full attention, it sounds to me like you've got the right balance of an intriguing topic where you're explaining things that's new information to them, but you're explaining it in a way that they can really get. And most importantly, they can see the bigger picture. How is this going to be applicable in the broader scheme of things in the broader world? If they can see that potential, you've done, you, you've done a good job. You've done your job. You can get more study tips and advice on the Study Smarter website. Brought to you by UWA Student Services.